Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. All right, guys, this was problem that says the smooth pipe rests against the opening at the points contact A, B, and C. Determine the reactions at this points needed to support the force of 300 newtons. Neglect the pipe's thickness in the calculation. Okay, so let's just draw all the forces that uh, affect this pipe right now. So we have a force at C reacting this way. If you're pulling this down, if you're pulling this 300 newton force this way, you know that there's going to be a reaction over here. You have a force B this way. And then you have a reaction at A that is parallel to this line. Parallel to this line. Okay, let me just erase that line. I don't want you guys to get confused. So you know that this reaction has the same angle as the line below it, which is 30 degrees. So let's call this F of C, F of B, and F of A. Okay, so let's find all the reactions. Just by looking at this diagram, you know that F of A has an X component and a Y component, right? Assuming this is positive X and this is positive Y. And you know that this 300 Newton force has a Y component and an X component. But check it out. We know this because we know the angle and we know the magnitude. We know the magnitude and the angle. So we know this X component. And there's only one other X component, which is um, the F of A X component, which helps us uh, figure, figure all this out. So let's do some of the forces in the X first. We know that it's equal to zero and it's equal to the 300 Newton force. I'm, I'm going to call this F of D. Okay. Let's call this point D. So everything has a point. Okay, so F of D and times the sine of 30 is the X component of F of D and it's negative because it's going to the left. And then F of A is F of A, the X component of F of A is F of A cos sine of 30 and it's positive because it's going to the right. We know F of D to be 300 Newtons, so we plug that in and we solve for F of A. And we should get that F of A is equal to 173.2 Newtons. So we have F of A. Now, look what we're missing. We were trying to find F of A, F of B, and F of C. We went with F of A first because we could see right away that in the X components, uh, we know one X component and there's one other one, which is um, F of A. So that's why we were able to find this one. So we're good with this one. We need to find the other two and you could go out about two ways. You could do some of the moments at B or some of the moments at C because you know, you know everything else. So I'm going to go with some of the moments at C right here. But if you do some of the moments at B, just know that it's also, it's also correct. You should arrive to the same answer. So assuming counterclockwise is positive, some of the moments at C is equal to zero. And this is equal to. Um, first, the moment created by D, which is, uh, would, um, excuse me, so for D, only the Y component is generating a moment. The X component is going straight away from C, so that's not generating a moment. So the Y component of D is given by F of D cosine of 30, okay? And you need to multiply it by the distance from C to D, which is 0.5. And it's trying to turn this counterclockwise, so it's positive. The second one creating a moment is F of B, which is going straight down, so everything about F of B is creating a moment, times the distance from C to B, which is 0.5, and it's trying to turn it clockwise, so it's negative. F of A, I'm going to keep writing down here because I'm running out of space, guys, but F of A uh, is creating a moment, but it's creating a moment on the X and the Y component. So how are we going to do this? First, let's do the X component. You know that the X component is creating a moment and it's trying to turn this lever arm, right? 
So what's the x component of f of a? Is f of a cos sine of 30 times the distance, the vertical distance from c to a, which is given right here, of 0.26. And is trying to turn it clockwise, so it's negative. Um, and then the y component of f of a is trying to turn the distance from c to this point right here, which is equal to 0.5 plus 0.15. So that will be uh, f of a sine of 30, because that's the y component of f of a, times that distance, which is 0.65. And it's trying to turn it clockwise, so it's also negative. Okay, so we know f of d, so we can plug that in. f of b we don't know, is what we're trying to find. And f of a we found out in the step before. So we know f of a, it's right here. And we know f of a right here. So let's solve this. 129.9 minus 0.5 f of b minus 39 minus 56.29 and we solve for f of b and you should get that f of b is equal to 69.22 newtons okay so now that we have f of a and f of b we can do the very easy equation of some of the forces in the y is equal to zero so what do we have in the y we have the y component of f of d which is minus f of d cosine of 30 plus f of c minus f of b minus the y component of f of a. We know f of d, which is 300 newtons, f of b, which is found out to be 69.22, and f of a, we found out to be 173.2. So we plug those numbers in and we solve for f of c and you should get that the answer is equal to 415.63 newtons. So final answer for f of a, final answer for f of b, final answer for f of c.